Hey, it's Fade. A uh, couple announcements before I get into the video. I was gone, as many of you may know, if you watch my stream at all. Uh, I went to Minneapolis to get a puppy. It was 3,600 miles round trip. And, um, yeah, I have a puppy now. So, it's awesome. Her name is Spectra. She's a Dogo Argentino. Blah, blah, blah. I'll probably put a video up of her for anyone that's interested sometime this week. Next up, I got YouTube Partner, because you guys are awesome. And I will probably be monetizing as many videos as I can, simply because I didn't realize how expensive puppies were. I originally didn't really care about monetization, but turns out dog food is a lot of money. Um, and so are vet bills. So, there's that. Now, as far as what this is, I am going to be making some niche build videos. They're not min-maxed, but they're... Like, they're not min-maxed for, like, any situation, but they're kind of, like, cookie-cut for... They're tailored for certain things, right? Like, and they're not the best you could possibly have. They're basically using really... F things that I consider to be really fun synergies. And so that's what these... Like, this video and any future videos of this sort are going to be. So if you guys like it, just... Tell me you like it. If you don't, tell me you don't. Um, they're definitely viable, though. Like, you could take these... The builds I'm going to be making like this, like this one specifically also, like, you can take it anywhere, and it will do what it's supposed to do. It's just that it really shines in certain cases, in certain circumstances. So, what this build is, is basically a shock build with Pike. And your ideal situation in this is going to be everybody running pike. Or not, but not pike. Everybody running shock weapons. Or solo. And against a behemoth that is boopable. The reason for that is that it is running overpower and savagery. So I've got something like, I think, four savagery. I've got... Um, three acidic for wounds i've got like six energized or something um and this is literally you knock them over you hit them knock them over you hit them that's why i went into a moon reaver if you're using a pike booping is going to be your job anyway savagery now that the rage hunter cells are nerfed uh or the rage hunter exploits i should say are nerfed savagery is actually a decent form of DPS, I would think, but not... I mean, it's a pike, let's be real, you know? <laughs> but <laughs> at least it's it's DPS. So, on top of that, when you get them knocked over with overpower and savagery, you're going to be dealing some damage. It's a Zaga pike, so on top of having the potential to stun something, it's also got that lifesteal for you, which is really sick and just good. You can't complain about lifesteal in a game like Dauntless. It's never a bad thing. And, uh, yeah, I'm just going to be showing it off. Probably not going to be getting a um, an electric proc, if I had to guess. Reason being that if you're the only person with an elemental weapon in your party, it's real difficult to proc things. I've done it with chain blades. I just don't think pikes have the necessary attack speeds, even spamming your ones. Like, the, the hold the hold one combo. I, I don't think it's nearly enough. Okay, then. I love booping and not getting anything for it. If you're fighting this guy, every time he runs away like that, you need to be, like, charging, even if it's not going to be a boop. And then... You always have to make sure that you keep a charge in the back. Anytime that you have to build distance because he's enraging, or anytime that you don't want to, but you have to, it's real good. Ah, oh, man. It's real good to um, just store your charge up, even if it's a little one. And uh, sometimes you get really lucky like that. So yeah, I've got I've got a wound somewhere. Looks like a wing. You 
Normally I would shoot right there, but this is my only charge, so, you know. I don't want to burn that. I don't know, I'm not dead. I wasn't trying to dodge that at all. Um, that's aggravating. If any of you are having trouble with Moon Reaver, I'm dead. Uh, grab a pike, by the way. I, I don't love the, the damage that pikes have. Oh! Shit, son! But, um... Let's face it, like, this fight is much easier if you can just knock it over every time. I mean, weighted blade, chain blades are the same. Or even a sword, if you're decent with a sword, but... Like, if you're just wanting to have the easiest time in the world... Uh, really? That's the one that misses? I... That's almost insulting. Oh, shoot. So, uh, this build, one thing it's really good at is if you have a wound and you get a boop and you hit that wound, you're going to get a lot of lifesteal. Like, if anybody remembers the old days back when Zaga gear used to just be, like, infinite health, um, it's on that tier, but only situationally. So it's not like you can just always be at a ton of health, you know? Um, you definitely have to get your wounds and, like, attack them. But, like, as you can see, like, my HP bar goes up a pretty decent amount. So the sav- oh, watch this shit, watch this shit. Oh. No! That wasn't my fault, there were trees in the way. That would have been my third one in a row doing that. I'm really sad. Like that right there, I got more than one hit on the wounded parts. It's a ton of health, just ton of HP. Plus, pikes, the way they work is if you don't take damage, um, you get more damage because your meter builds. So if you're hurt, you don't want to take damage, obviously. That would be very bad. And what that means is um, the times that you're going to be hitting things for health are the times your meter is going to be high, which is just real, real nice. Oh, you asshole. And if I was hitting a wounded part right now, like this, the HP would have been going up much further than that. I like how I didn't even get hurt there. The other thing is that this Jas- Oh! Shock proc. Oh my god. The other thing is that this Jas Lantern increases your damage, which then increases your lifesteal. So, if you pop the Jas Lantern, you'll end up healing yourself as well. And I don't know how I managed to get a Shock proc in here. Like, that was- I impressed myself. But, yeah, there you go. Uh, that's the build. I hope you guys have fun with it. It's really strong in certain cases. But it's not something that you can, like, take into a shroud and expect to do very well with. It's just, you know, synergy is cool. So, yeah, I'll be putting out more videos uh, sometime this week. And uh, peace out.